Today I'm going to share with you how to build a really simple pull-out cabinet that will make use of this wasted space. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to make beautiful websites. In a lot of the apartments that I've rented over the years, I've had kitchens with wasted space like this next to the fridge. Narrow pull-out pantries like this one are great to make use of that space and they do come in different sizes, but sometimes they don't exactly fit for your kitchen, so I thought it would be fun to show you how easy it is to make your own. I had six inches of space to work with, so I used one by six pine boards that are actually five and a half inches wide. I had them cut at the hardware store to avoid making a mess at home, and all you need to build it is a drill, a tape measure, and a speed square. First I marked off where I want my shelves to be, and I use a speed square to trace the line across both boards. It makes it easier to line up the shelves on both sides. I placed the top board recessed from the top to act as a shelf, and I also recessed the bottom board to hide the wheels from the front. I like to recycle casters from discarded pieces of furniture. Even if the furniture is beyond salvaging, usually the wheels can be useful for some other project like this one. I made sure that the wheels were positioned so that they can move freely in all directions. And I also placed the shelves so that the wheels extend past the bottom of the boards by about a quarter of an inch. I always use my speed square to make sure that my boards are at 90 degrees when I'm screwing them together. But I also use my speed square to make sure that my screws are lined up with the board that I'm screwing into. Otherwise, they might end up way off to the side and miss the board completely. After putting in the rest of the shelves the same way, I attached the brackets that will hold the railings. And here I use a template to make sure that they're all lined up perfectly. I chose to use screen molding for my railings because I like the look and they're also really easy to cut with a handsaw. If you don't have a handsaw, you can always cut this at the hardware store as well. Since they will be attached to the brackets with bolts, I made holes that I countersunk to make sure that the bolts don't stick out. Next, I prepped the cabinet for painting by covering up the screw holes with wood filler and sealing the knots with shellac. This helps prevent them from bleeding through the paint. I did this with most of the knots, but I thought it would be fun to experiment to see if nail polish works also. So I used it on a few knots. I'll let you know if it works. Now I only painted the front of the cabinet, but the rest of the wood should also be sealed to protect it against spills. And now it's time to wheel this thing into the kitchen and to see if it works. It fits perfectly in the gap, but unfortunately it didn't go all the way in, even though I had made the pantry the same depth as the existing cabinet. I hadn't noticed that there was a quarter round molding at the bottom of the wall and it was preventing the pantry from going in all the way. So I had to improvise and take off the wheels and saw off part of the backboard with a handsaw. That did the trick and now the pantry isn't sticking out anymore and you can hardly see that it's there when it's all the way in. The last thing I had to do was add a hook to act as a stopper and this will prevent the cabinet from coming out all the way. And that's really important because this cabinet is so tall and narrow that it always needs to be supported on both sides. Now to pull the pantry in and out, I find that grabbing the top of the front board works great, but you could also add a handle. It's amazing how much stuff you can fit in a narrow shelf like this. And I love the fact that you have access to everything easily and you can see everything way better than a regular standard cabinet. That was a really fun project to make and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll have links to everything that I use for making the cabinet and for the ones that you can buy on Amazon in the description below. Now I want to say a special thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've been redesigning my website with Squarespace and I so wish I had used them the first time around. Using their template has saved me a ton of time because everything's already laid out. I don't have to think about what font would be nice with this or what layout would look good. And if I need help with something, even if it's late at night when I'm working on this, their customer service is available 24-7 to answer any of my questions. So if you want to start your free trial and get 10% off, go to squarespace.com slash engineer your space. You can see more renter friendly ideas to upgrade your kitchen in these videos here. And if you want to see what I'm up to day to day, follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.